Hey guys, so we're here at the Disneyland Resort and we're here for the best time of the year. It's Halloween time! It's Halloween time, man. And if anybody says best time of year is Christmas, we're gonna fight because you know what? It's oh, Halloween time. Christmas. Anyway, so it's Halloween time. No, I'm just kidding, but we're here. It's Halloween. Ogie's here. It's time for us to show you guys some delicious eats. And you know, when Halloween time comes, all of the treats come out. The treats come out at night. So we can get some pounds. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be trying some treats, some savory treats, some food, some ice cream, some some drinks. It's just we're gonna have a good old time. I want a smorgasbord of yeah, Halloween I was treats. Say that. You guys know I love eating and you know I love food and you love Halloween. So we're gonna do the best of both worlds and combine them together and show you guys our experience. <laughs> we're gonna show you guys our experience for today. We're doing only DCA. DCA looks like that's where it's at for the food. We're gonna be starting at DCA because DCA, like Ashley mentioned, has a lot more to choose from from the stuff that we wanna try. Yep. And then we'll mosey on down to Disneyland a little bit later. Without further ado, let's mosey on into DCA and try some spectacular treats. Let's go! Time to go find all the scrumptious deliciousness. As we're walking into DCA, they have all the Halloween decorations up. They got bats, they got purple, they got bunting. Now, if you guys want to see a more in-depth video, we actually did one last year. There actually isn't much a change to any of the decorations. So if you guys want to watch that, we'll put the little eye card in the corner for you. Very happy to see that they brought back the Headless Horseman statue. Now, this thing at night, guys, is absolutely beast. If we're still here at night, we'll show you guys a clip of it. If not, it's also in the YouTube video we were talking about earlier. First stop for our savory food for the Halloween foodie treats and all the good eats is gonna be at Award, Award Wieners. Wieners. So I went ahead, I did a mobile order. Thankfully, I mobile ordered a little bit earlier before arriving. It says right now that um, they're preparing my order. Oh, okay, so it's probably love gonna take that. like maybe like what, three minutes, five minutes? You know what I love even more? What's up? The register's down, so they're only taking mobile order. So is that a win? For me it is. <laughs> We ordered the rest in peace stromy dog. Ah. It's 10.29. So without further ado, let's try it in one, two. So this is what our pastrami dog looks like. It's an all beef hot dog topped with thinly sliced pastrami, caramelized onions, pickles, and mustard sauce. Ooh, that so sounds delicious. So I think delicious. I'm gonna do the first bite per usual. Ready? Go ahead. You have a, a lot of sauce on your lip there. <laughs> mm. Is it good? I like it. Re really? Mm. Ooh, it's got the crunchy pickle. Oh, so there is? There's oh. pickle, see? Oh, I didn't know there was pickle. Mm. And then now, do some of this action. Mm. Dude, this is really good. The beef is very flavorful. I don't know if I can't taste the pastrami as much because of the you know onions and pickles and the sauce, but either way, it's really good. I'm gonna take one more bite because I didn't get the, the bottom. That was really good. I want you to try Chris. All right. It's Chris's turn. I'm a little worried. I'm not a fan of onions, uh, let alone pickles. Mm. And the fact that both of them are on a hot dog, but I love pastrami, so we'll see how it is. You're making a face. It's a little dry. Yeah, because the bottom part is so thick. Yeah. If you look, I think that's just so it doesn't like collapse. Yeah. Like the Disneyland ones tend to sometimes. Yeah, totally. As far as my opinion about it, I feel like you don't really get too much taste of the pastrami more than you actually taste the hot dog or the sauce. And then the crunch from the pickle and the onion, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's bad, it's just I'm not too much of a fan of it. But regardless, I just wish there was more pastrami taste rather than like a mayonnaise saucy taste. Mm -hmm. And I love mayonnaise on this. It tastes like there's mayonnaise. That um, might be the mustard sauce. Might be some mustard with mayonnaise or something. That looks like mayonnaise. It doesn't look like mustard. Okay, well, if you're, you keep making caritas, yeah, I'll, I'll eat it. We have finished the pastrami dog. Let's rate it. So out of five spooky pumpkins, what would you give it? I'm gonna give it like a three and a half. In my opinion, that's a three and a half. Three because, and a half pumpkins? Yeah, the taste of the hot dog was good. I just wish I could taste more of the pastrami. And then the onions and the pickle together kind of threw it off for me. Mm -hmm. But the thing that also you know, made it better was the fries. My rating definitely has to be a four. I really like the onions. I really like the crunchy pickles. I wish there was more sauce. The taste- What? Yeah. There was plenty of sauce. A little bit more. I like, you, you're not a really a fan. Of I'm not a sauce guy. 
No, but I am. A soft gal. So, a gal. <laughs> I give this a four out of five pumpkins. I really enjoyed it. I would just say maybe a little bit more um, of the sauce and make it a little more spicy. So even if it's a little more oh, mustard. Oh, I want to spicy everything. <laughs> now that we have filled our bellies with food, I think it's time to go try a little alcoholic drink. A little drinky poop. With some cool little accessories on top. Some snake eyes. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna try the Worms Dice and Everything Nice drink with two little snake eye dice on top. Snake eye. So this is Midori Lime Slush Gummy Worms and Dice Glow Cubes. Uh, don't worry, Ashley's not reading off the teleprompter, guys. <laughs> I just wanna make sure I get it right. Okay, let's try something. And this is 21 bucks, so it comes with the drink itself and it comes with the dice and it's a little, little, little gummy worms. Oh, is it? I know you're not really too much of a fan of like alcohol in general. I love it because what? you can hardly taste the alcohol. Okay. And it's sour. Oh. Mm. I'm surprised you, you didn't. What else? Yeah. Don't tell me you need spice. It's tarty. Okay. If you would have said it needed spice, I was gonna throw the camera no, Chris at her. Chris hates when I go. Oh my god! Enough! <laughs> enough! Enough! I really like this. I give it. Okay, for me, the, if it's alcohol that you're wanting, it's a three. Okay. But if you're enjoying it because it tastes really soury and it's like a slushy and it's hot outside, I give it a five out of five. Okay. Really so good. so it turns from a it's three pumpkins strong. to five pumpkins. I don't think it's as strong as maybe you. It should be for what you're paying, but just for the taste, I really like it. So I'm giving it a five. I'm gonna give it a shot now. I gotta drink it quick because my straw is already disintegrating. I, it just it just tastes like limeade. I don't taste anything else but that. But that's good. If I'm gonna be paying twenty one dollars for a drink, I want a little bit of alcohol taste in it. True, but you're getting two cubes. I think for what you're paying, it needs more alcohol, but the overall taste is very good. I would say ultimately you're paying for the cubes. The 21 bucks is for the cubes. Maybe you're paying extra for the gummy worms, I don't know, but I would say you're paying for the cubes more than anything. The drink itself is good and refreshing because it tastes like limeade, and of course it has that little slushiness to it, so it's perfect for a hot day. Gummy worms, can't complain. If you don't like gummy worms, I don't know what's wrong with you. And then of course you get the, uh, the cubes. But other than that, I would say my rating scale out of my pumpkins, I'm gonna give it a two. One thing I do want to show you guys besides this drink is something that John picked up. It's the new pumpkin ale that they have out for the Halloween season. Now John, who's this, who's this by? Elysian. Elysian. All right. I think I've only tried it once. I don't remember the taste too well. Let me give it a shot now. Cheers, my boy. Mm. Worth $11. $11? Oh, okay, well, I mean, that price, if it was like nine, maybe it'd be fine, but 11 bucks? I mean, that's how expensive things are here, but this is a very, actually, really good beer. What does it taste like? It has like a bold taste with a little bit of like a pumpkin spice at the end. Mm -hmm. So does it taste like a pumpkin pumpkin pie or anything like that, or no? Uh, no, no. Um, <laughs> what? Pumpkin spice. It's got a little pumpkin spice kick at the end. It's okay. pretty tasty, but I'd say it's not that good for a hot day. I personally like light crispy beers on a hot day. This is more something maybe at night to enjoy. As far as the drinks that we have here, I give this a two, like I said. This one, I'll give it a four. That's how good it was. Next stop is Claire Bell's Hand Scooped Ice Cream. Now here they have, <laughs> they have some delicious looking ice creams as well as sundaes. But we're also gonna be picking up the Stein because we need to have that purple Stein. If you turn your head over to the left, we ordered the Boogeyman Sunday, which comes inside of the Purple Poison Apple Premium Premium <laughs> Mug Sunday, and we got the spiked hard apple float on the side. So we're trying a total of two items, and we're keeping one little souvenir to the side. Lots of ice cream incoming. I'm ready because it's an apple. <laughs> we got our Poison Apple Purple Stein with us, but inside, oh, it's a little mounted because we had to take some pictures. But I'm gonna use my little cheat sheet. This is the Boogeyman Sunday. I went ahead and took it out of the stein. I'm looking at the ingredients right now. Cheater. <laughs> it is scoops of mint chocolate chip ice cream, hot fudge chocolate cookie crumble, and gummy candies in a chocolate dip waffle combo. So we don't have the waffle combo. It's because we got the stein. We got the stein, which I'm totally okay with. We also have another treat before we dig into this. This is the spiked hard apple float. So it's hard apple cider with apple sorbet drizzle with caramel sauce. It's really yummy, but I think we should try the sundae first and then give this one a try. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a bite and a try. 
I know you're not really a fan of mint chocolate chip. It's not my favorite. You know what? It kind of tastes like a thin mint Girl Scout cookie. All right, did you get a little bit of fudge on there? Give us some of that fudge. There we go. Yeah, I gotta go all the way at the bottom. Got some fudge. Mm. Good? I don't know what I'm chewing on. Gummy worm? Chocolate? Caramelly? Toffee? Really? All of it? What do you eat? Are you sure you got... It was a roach. <laughs> No. It, was, it was a nookie boogie bug. <laughs> I don't know what I just ate. It tasted like chocolatey, toffee, caramel, caramelly. Really good. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of mint chocolate chip. It's good. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. I would much rather have like a coffee ice cream up in here. You and your coffee ice cream. Love coffee ice cream. But this is really good. I think on a hot day, really yummy. Out of five spooky pumpkins, I'm gonna give it a three. What? Uh, give, me, give me the ice cream. Time to give the ice cream a try. Now, funny thing is, I used to be a big fan of mint chocolate chip when I was younger, but then I kind of grew out of the taste, but I'm always down for it. Now, with all the fudge connected, I'm gonna enjoy this. Did you get one too? Yeah. What is it? Go like this, go bleh. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. It looked kind of chocolate bar-y. Right? I don't know what that is. Oh, there's candy corn! Ew, no wonder she's a caramel sugar! <laughs> there's candy corn! <laughs> I thought that was... No, there has to be something else in here. If I find it, I won't chew it, but regardless, with the fudge, the fudge really adds a chocolatey sensation to the mint chip. Uh, so if you're a fan of fudge, if you're a fan of chocolate chip, it's gonna be a go-to for you. But we're trying to figure out what is that chewy thing that's in here besides the candy corn. Upon eating this, I can definitely guarantee that that chewiness that we ate earlier was a candy corn. I don't think there's anything else in here, but as far as the taste, like the caramel taste like that, I don't know where that's coming from. Regardless Does though- it, Do you taste the caramel too? I tasted it for like a second, but then the fudge came and, and the mint came, so it kind of overpowered everything. But regardless, it's a really good treat. I like it because the mint, I like it because the fudge. I'm gonna give my rating out of four. A four. A four for show. A four for show? A four for show. All right, now let's go ahead and give, bum bum bum, the cider a try. On to the spiked heart apple float. John gave it a little try. The caramel is super, super frozen because it's next to like a, a sorbet type like ice cream. I've never had caramel in my beer, so we'll see how it tastes. The sorbet is actually really nice. It's really nice and refreshing. Let's go ahead and give it a shot with the actual drink now. I mean, it's an apple cider. Nothing's gonna change for that. But this is actually really good. Are you gonna pick the whole thing inside? I don't know. You should, right? I don't know. Let's but can I try it first? Try it before we do that. Okay, this is how it's done. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, yes. You like it? I feel like that. <laughs> you believe her? Oh, yeah. oh yes. Mm. Okay, so Ashley digs the sorbet with the caramel. Okay, you want to give it a little taste with the with the with the beer or the mm. cider? <laughs> okay, okay. Let, let's relax a little. Mm. <laughs> I haven't had beer in a long time, you guys. It's cider. What? But spider? 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 No. no. That's why it's blue and green. <laughs> what? Wait, I got it! Don't touch! It's blue Oh, look what I'm just looking at Chris right now. <laughs> Thank you, let's get back to the video. <laughs> just, let's go. Should dunk it? Yeah, dunk it. See what you mean? Go ahead, dunk it. Let's see what happens. It's not like green. From downtown. Look at it. Is there a chemical reaction happening? Yeah, it's gonna be a volcanic eruption. So I don't know if this is supposed to like melt into the beer, but it's going, it's going in the cider. For there's sure. a lot of foam going on right now. Ooh. Ashley, give it a shot now with the with the actual thing inside. With the sorbet and the caramel inside the actual cider. I just got foam. You gotta sip it down. Cider, sorbet, and caramel inside the cup. I love this. Really? Yeah. Do you like it better than that limeade concoction? Yes. Yeah? I give this a five out of five. What? Pumpkins you know what? already on set on five for you? I love sorbet. Okay. The caramel. He's like caramel apple. Okay. You know, apple. And the cider I can have because it's gluten free and it tastes really good. All right. Well, I'm I glad really you found like something this. that you really like. This is really good. It, I think 
so far best alcohol beverage for the Halloween season. Now as far as this float here, this is $15.50. There is sadly no AP discount here in DCA for this Clarabelle store. And then for the Sunday that we got with the Stein, it came out to like a little less than 20 bucks. That one also did not have a discount. But the cool thing is they were able to actually substitute the regular Sunday that comes with the Stein with the Boogeyman uh, Sunday. So I'm actually really happy about that because we were able to get the Stein and the Sunday at for, the same time. For no additional cost. All right, it's time to try a cheesy dog. So apparently there's pepper jack cheese dipped in like the cornbread dough, right? Yeah. With some pineapple slaw I think it's salsa. like a pineapple relish. And then it has, what did she say this was? Blackberry. Blackberry, like drizzle. Dress, drizzle. Drizzle. We have drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. And then we have like Cheeto puff. It's basically Cheetos. It's Cheetos. And some pickled jalapenos. Don't get it twisted, guys. Ashley asked for extra jalapenos. They don't normally give you that many, but Ashley basically wants to uh, have fire coming out I of herself like later. I would incinerate my taste buds. <laughs> Ready, Freddy? Let's do this. Looks like you got mostly bread instead of cheese. Mm, spicy. Yeah? Already? Let me take one more bite. We're going to have to take all those jalapenos off for me. Oh, no. Oh, it's spicy and it's freaking good. Oh, no. So that's the inside right there. That's all the cheesy, delicious breadness that they have. So good. This, honestly, I was not excited to try because I was like, mm, the bread, but that spice, it's good. Five out of five. Already? That's it. Okay. That is it. Is it better than the hard cider drink? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The spice. Well, I know you. You Honestly, like everything to melt. Five out of five. I asked for extra jalapenos because I really want it spicy. But these, just because they still have all like the seeds and stuff, it's spicy. All right, you know we're gonna what? have to take some of those it's off for me. Bomb. Okay, actually, before I try, we're gonna go back to Ashley. Okay. So we had a little bit of an issue with our corn dog. Yeah. We found a little something in there that was supposed to be in there, and also. The corn dog that they gave us was the wrong one. They looked at it, they're like, that's the regular cheese corn dog. We this never, one? no, the one that they gave us originally was the regular cheese corn dog. Oh, inside? Yeah. No so, wonder, because yeah. doesn't taste like pepper jack. Yeah, so they never gave us the pepper jack one. So now you're gonna officially try the pepper jack one. Okay. And you're gonna see if it's a little spicier than what it was previously. Okay. Look the same. Okay, guys, so we have a brand new corn dog here. <laughs> Again. Again, let me. Third time. Third time. <laughs> First time, it was a little sus. There was something in it. Yeah, it was also the wrong corn dog too. Wrong corn dog. Second time, supposedly the right corn dog. Still not the right corn dog. <laughs> like they were giving us regular cheddar cheese filling. Yes. Amazing, by the way. So that might be a hack. Oh, this one is literally gonna bottle like the the. Uh, the this is like literally the stick like is coming through. It's bending out. Okay, so so this is it. supposed to be the pepper jack one. How am I supposed to bite that right there? I mean, you're gonna have to unhinge your jaw or something, turn okay. it to a snake. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. See, that's actually the white cheese that we're looking for instead of the yellow cheese. Did it taste as spicy? No? I like the cheddar, the other one actually. <laughs> it's sauce all over your lips. <laughs> I like the other cheese better. Really? Yeah. But you know what? This is still really good. I'm gonna try another one. Look, it's oozing out. Oh my god, that's so much you cheese. Do it? What do you okay. mean I wanna do it? Do you want to take a bite? No, 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 go, go, go. Handle it. It's like stuffed crust. Like, oh, oh look at all that cheese. Too much. I don't like this kind of cheese. Too much cheese? Yes. No. Right now behind us, the Coco show is going on, so that's why we're trying our best to be loud for you guys on the mic. Your turn, buddy. Alright, let's do it. But what? Before but what? I give it to you. I have to say, I'm gonna give this a four and a half. Oh. Because I don't like the pepper jack cheese as much as I like the regular cheddar cheese. So if it was the regular notch or the regular cheddar cheese one, then it would have been perfect. Yeah. Because I remember I ate it and I had already given me the five out of five. Rating. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say this is a four and a half. If it's possible, ask to get the regular like cheese dog and then put all the toppings on top. That. The best. We don't know if you can actually do that as a hack, but if I mean, worth a shot to ask. yeah, the worst I can tell you is no, but I'll give it a shot now and see how it is. Time to give it a shot. The cheese is oozing out. Let's do my thing. One more bite. One more bite. Since I didn't get to try the other one, I don't really have any way to compare it to what it used to taste like, but this one does taste a little spicy. I actually don't think it's that spicy at all, even with the jalapenos on it. As far as the cheese, it doesn't taste like pepper jack to me. Well, there's no really jalapenos on this one anymore. You the other one, the first one was covered. Yeah. <laughs> but regardless, it's a pretty tasty uh, snack. I would say for the price, 
it's more of a gimmick than it is, you know, worth the money, in my opinion. How much was it? It was $9.99 before AP discount. Okay. So it's 10 bucks. Um, but I mean, if you want all the thrills and whistles, you get the cheese, you get the little uh, Cheeto stuff, you get the blackberry sauce that pineapple like relish if you want all that totally go for it if not just get a regular corn dog as far as my rating i'm gonna go ahead and say i'm gonna give it a three out of five pumpkins three out of five yeah i wouldn't get it again but that's saying a lot because i love cheese dogs sorry to interrupt you but i'm totally getting this again i'm asking por favor disney give me the regular cheddar because that one was bomb i just like the cheese so if you like cheese get it hey guys welcome back to day two of our treats and eats here at DCA for the Halloween season. Spooky. Now we're doing a day two because we ate so much yesterday that we couldn't fit any more in our bellies and uh, we were just super stuffed. Since yesterday we started off by eating something super yummy and savory, today we're gonna start off by having something super sweet. We are currently in the Grizzly Peak area, so we're gonna head past Redwood Creek and see if we can find our first sweet treat of the day. Let's go. First spot we're gonna hit is the churro cart that's actually right next to the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail because this spot has a very delicious looking s'mores churro. Okay guys, well, a little disappointing news. We're, we're off to a well, non-sweet start. We were expecting to get that churro like we were showing you guys, but we decided not to. But let me tell you why. That churro itself is $6.75, which we expect. It's a specialty churro. It's got a bunch of stuff on it. It's not just it a regular delicious. churro. It looks delicious. So we get to the front, uh, or we get to the line actually, and we see two people order it ahead of us. And we see that only like a portion of the churro is covered in the drizzle and the granola. Like yeah, that's so for reference, that's the, that's the churro right there. That was covered in the sauce and stuff. I was like, oh no. Yeah, so. The photo makes it look like. No, the photo, which we'll put right here, like right here on the screen, shows that it's gonna be the full churro. I understand maybe they don't wanna put the full churro full of it because you have to hold it. But it's but advertising correctly. Though. At least maybe like 50% of it to even maybe three quarters of it. So at least you have a portion of it for the handle. So two thirds is bare. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what the cast member, the cast member said one third of it is covered. Yeah, one so third of it is covered. the cast member. He said that that's what the recipe calls for. Yeah. But I feel like it's such a jit because you don't even get more than half of what the actual toppings are for the price that you're paying right. for that churro. I don't know why they just wouldn't cover everything. Yeah, I'd rather just have a churro that's going to be drenched in it and just eat it with a fork. I don't know about you. We use our hard-earned money as well as you guys when you guys come and visit the parks. Yeah. And I think you guys should spend your money wisely. Yes. And unfortunately, we didn't want to show you guys something. That's not worth the money. And spend our money on something that's completely not even worth the money in the first place. I want my churro topped completely. Yeah. If I'm paying that kind of money for a churro. So sadly, we are not going to be trying this more churro. And we're going to move on and try something else sweet and some more savory things. And um, we are not going to let this damper our day. That's for sure. Nope, it might be a, a slow start to the day, but we're gonna go see what else we can find. Yeah, let's go. It's yes, time to go to Cars Land because there's two things that we want to try. Our cars and, and lands. Yeah. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna give another churro a try, or at least we're gonna see what they offer for it. We, and, and we're gonna revisit an oh, old slow burn flame. My like favorite. I do like that. It's slow burn. Flame. Yeah, it's, it's it's a slow burn, but it's a flame. It's kind of like a fire. Okay, I'm ruining it. <laughs> now, one of the things that we're gonna be trying is over here at the Cozy Cone Motel, right next to. The cones. Yeah, yeah, the cones are right there too. Oh yeah, I forgot. That. <laughs> but look, they got Mater over here. And he's a he's a vampire. What was his name? Why should we call him? Vampamator. Vampator. Vampator. Is that what it was? I don't know. We'll have to reference our old video for that one. We're gonna keep on the churro train and hope that we're able to pick up this Halloween churro, which we'll show you guys right now. This is the Halloween churro, and we did already ask if it comes fully drenched in the sauce, and they did say yes. This one difference between the other one comes in a tray versus it being handheld. So maybe that might be the reason why they do more sauce than the other place. Oh my God, guys, look at this thing. Now this is a specialty churro. I have no problem paying close to $7 for a churro like this. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh yeah. That, see, that's, that's, that's a specialty churro. That's the ticket right there. It's time to finally try the Halloween churro here at Cars Land. I don't even know where to You don't even know where to start, start huh? <laughs> There's so much there. Oh wait, you get two churros? Yeah. Oh! It's like them cut in half. Oh, it's, it's, okay, so it's a churro cut in half. Yeah, I'm gonna put the little wormies to the side, and I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. In the sauce, in the green sauce. There's a lot of c crumbled cookies on there. <laughs> <laughs> you struggling there, Bucks, or what? Alright, let's see. 
definitely need a glass of milk. Yeah, you need some milk? I need some almond milk. She needs some milk. She needs some milk. <laughs> mm. How does it taste though? What's it so taste like? So it's like a churro covered in Oreo crumbs. Okay. And the um, green liquid is like frosting. Is it like so flavor? think of like the inside of an Oreo, an Oreo uh -huh. but like a frost, like more of like a frosting. You know how it's like that. Uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Just think of an Oreo. Okay. No. A churro. Okay. Oreo crumbles. Okay. And frosting. Okay, but does the candy corn? I don't know if I'm gonna eat that. Does the frosting have any taste to it? Tastes it by itself. It tastes like frosting. Like Just regular frosting. Like vanilla. Is it like, is it re regular frosting vanilla? I don't know. Because I need those, there's flavor frosting, but. Definitely, I think... I'm glad that they have some drizzle on the side. Yeah, she she definitely hooked it up with the drizz. This is really good. Yeah? I just wish I had some almond milk. I'm really excited to try it, mm -hmm. but we need, we need to know, what is your rating? I give this a four. A four? Because the five was that maple, remember that one that they had? My favorite churro was. The maple like... bacon churro? Mm -hmm. That was five out of five for me. That's a dirty worm. Ashley just picked this up from the ground. What? <laughs> Did you picture it in your head? You don't like the worms? You're not really have a gummy fan. No. Just so you know, guys, funny. Ashley does not like chocolate covered gummy bears, which is the world's gift when it comes to candy. No, because you get the caca gummy bears. It's the caca gummy bears. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? Oh. It's good by itself, not with the yeah. the Harbero. Those gummy bears are the bomb. Yeah, those are good, but they don't yeah, sell. They don't sell, like they don't that, sell the Harbero one chocolate covered. Okay, so this needs to be deloused of. Deloused? There's no lice on it. <laughs> the Oreo. <laughs> no Oreos. No Oreos. Okay. Just just straight gummy. But you know what? I like the addition of it because it makes it it makes it feel like this is like a dirty churro coming from the ground and there's worms and stuff like that. <laughs> The gummy worms and the candy corn just like an added like bonus. Nobody likes candy but corn. What I can really appreciate is Oreos. I love Oreos or the Oreo crumble. And then the frosting. It's really good. Honestly, I really like I'm surprised because this is the one that I told Chris I wasn't really like excited to try. Yeah, when I told you I wanted to try too it, gimmicky. you're just like, I don't want to try that. It's like a gimmick. You know what though? I'm so glad that we got this versus that's more true. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that much. This is so much better. Alright, alright. You wanna save some for me so I can give it a try? Yeah, it's Chris's turn to try. Ooh, you're gonna do the gummy I'm gonna do it worm. with the worm, man. You know, if I'm not doing it, I, I Can you do the worm while you eat the worm? I think no, you would choke. Okay. Well, yeah, I probably choke on, <laughs> on the worm or anything else in my life, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass on the candy corn because everybody knows candy corn is. But Why, with, you don't like candy corn? Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Like I'm like a. Eh, I'm a middleman. Alright, let's give it. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm nor advocate nor hater. There we go. Yeah. We went ahead and put a candy corn just for the photo, but as you guys know, candy corn is uh, complete trash. So no, it's gonna... not. It's not great and it's not horrible. I think it's a good middleman. Um, yesterday you were very unhappy with the candy corn <laughs> inside of the jelly, or instead of the Oogie Boogie Man one. Let's give it a shot now with everything com combined. You need some milk? Yeah. Wow. Do you like it? The gummy worm threw it off. 100%. No, the shouldn't. gummy worm threw it off. So I'm going to make the executive decision and try it again with no gummy worm. Okay. Because all I really tasted was the gummy worm. <laughs> Second shot at that. It's incredible. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of chocolate. Um, I got to have myself a good churro that has chocolate. I'm a huge fan of Oreos. Gummy worms, great, but not in combination with it at the same time. But like an after, like when you're done with the churro, yeah, it's like totally. a good sweet. Yeah, yeah, totally. But as far as the churro itself, I'd say it's great with the chocolate on it. It's great with the Oreos. The frosting doesn't do much for me. It just what? It just makes it a little bit more um, moist. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Oh. It makes it a little bit more moist, so that you can you know put it down a lot easier mm -hmm. without milk. But I'd say 100% uh, would recommend this. I'd, I'm gonna give this a five. You can give it a I'm five. I'm gonna give it a five. Five, five. Oops. The best churro you've ever had is a five. You know what? This is better than the cocoa churro I tried. Oh, sure. We tried that last year. Yeah, for Pixar Fest. So this is better. And I don't think I've had another churro that was really good. I mean, I'm pretty sure the s'mores one would have been the good. The maple bacon? That one's top. But this oh. one is this one's better, in All my right. opinion. Okay, you heard it from Chris. So I give those five, and we're gonna finish this next one, and we're gonna try something a little bit more spicy. Revisit something. Yeah. An old flame. An old flame. An old slow burning flame. Okay, this joke is going on way too. <laughs> I like it. It's one of my better jokes. <laughs> the next one that we're gonna be trying is actually from the cone queso cone here at the Cozy Cone Motel. 
they have a slow burning mac and cheese cone. Now it's a like hot, it's uh, kind of like a spicy mac and cheese that's topped with like a hot Cheeto crumble. They don't call it hot Cheetos, but it's like hot chips. And it comes with a black bread cone. Now guys, this is actually one of my favorite things, so I cannot wait to try this again. So I love this last year. But this is what it has right there. It's $8.99, and I promise you guys, if you guys are a fan of mac and cheese and you want something a little spicy, this is gonna be perfect for you. This is the slow burn mac and cheese in the black bread bowl. Now, you can see there's plenty of the little hot chips crumbles. The mac and cheese looks absolutely cheesy and delicious and creamy. Can't wait to have it. Bucky, food's here. <laughs> it's like my favorite one. No, no, hot chips, hot chips. <laughs> this is the slow burning mac and cheese cone here at Cars Land. It looks so yummy. Some hot Cheetos on top with some nah. hot, chips. hot Cheetos <laughs> on top with some mac and cheese encased in a black cone of some sort. It's a bread cone, love. <laughs> you love the bread cone. I'm not. We've had this last year. Yes, it was uh, one of my favorites. We have a YouTube video, I think. Do um, we? I think so. We might. I know. We might. We, I know. We talked about it on Instagram for sure. I think we put it in one of our YouTube videos. Well, we tried it last year, nonetheless. Um, I am obsessed with the inside, and Chris loves the outside and the inside, of course. So I'm gonna take one bite, and then the rest is his. Really? You're gonna give me the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, you're so generous. <laughs> Normally, it's me going for scraps when Ashley's eating everything. Mm. It's good, huh? It's not that spicy either, huh? It has a good good though. But not like overbearing. No, it has just enough for it to be like a good spice. It's really yummy. Look at how much cheese there is right here. Yeah. I'm gonna leave that in there. My only gripe is for people who are gluten-free or might not necessarily like a lot of like the bread and the carbs and all that, they should put this in like a cup. Like you know how like when you order ice cream, you can either get it in a cup or a cone? I'm pretty sure you can ask for it. But I get it, it's the cozy cone. Yeah. So I totally understand. Um, but I'm gonna give the rest to Chris. This, honestly, I would get this time in time in time again if it was just in a cup. What, would, mean, you, what would you rate it? Given the fact that I don't like the bread portion of this, I'm, I, I wanna rate it just a three, what? but the inside isn't a three. Uh -huh. It's just like, if you're gonna buy it as is, okay. I would give it a three. Imagine that the black uh, bread is just, Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> if the black bread wasn't there, I'd be a five out of five. I love this so much, but, if you really like bread, you're really gonna like this too. Chris loves this. Like you <laughs> love this. And if they had a side of cheese on the side that you could like, you know, like have a Dip the cheese. bread into afterwards. Mm -hmm. Cause you're never really gonna like finish the whole bread with mac and Like you're gonna eat all the mac and cheese and that might be a little dry, you know? See what you do is you eat the bread bowl at the same time as the mac and cheese. So little by little, it all dwindles down together. Well, here, how about you show them? Cause I, I don't want the bread. <laughs> okay. Chris, it is your turn to try the slow burning mac and cheese cone. Goodness, you love this puppy. Oh God, I miss this. Of course, the fact that this only comes about around once a year, it's really depressing because I would love to have this on a regular basis. What if they have it, like I'm telling you, a cup. Would you just get it the cup or is the bread the selling key factor for you? It's not the selling key factor, it's just the mac and cheese. It's creamy, it's cheesy, it's a little spicy. Um, I say the bread is a big plus because it allows you to have a little bit more to the dish. So like I said yeah. when I was telling you, I like to eat the mac and cheese and take a bite of the bread bowl so it all goes down together. Hey, show us, sir. Okay, so, uh, wow. I'm so glad you're happy. Oh my God. Now, the only bad thing about this, if you eat it first thing in the morning, you're gonna have a spicy tummy the rest of the day. No, you are gonna have a spicy tummy. But, I mean, we did have, <laughs> we had churro, so maybe that- We're not icing, done yet. The icing will help, uh, you know, get rid of that spiciness a little bit. It'll uh, line my inner stomach with uh, oh frosting. My. But regardless, guys, my rating for this is gonna be absolute five. Now, I'm very happy to know that the first two things that we tried for the day have been five for me. We had a great sweet treat. Now we're having a delicious savory treat. Mm -hmm. And there's so much more that we're gonna show you guys. So let's finish this up and go get some more food. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this. Treat. Treat. You like it? <laughs> All right guys, day three of us coming back. Don't let these outfit changes fool you. We don't have these in our backpacks, but we are gonna go ahead and go inside Carthay Circle this time. We're gonna be trying the drink that they have here again. They had it last year. We tried it last year. We almost died last we year. We did it on video. We did have it on video, but 
this year they have some special little apples you can buy with it. Apples? Apples, apples, apples. Apples, apples, apples. <laughs> Nobody knows. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? See, this is where they're missing the bats, man. They don't have the bats out this year. That's the whole point of when the bats were supposed to be coming out and the trees light up and everything. Oh, Oogie, where did your bats go? Oh, look at Daisy. Daisy, you look mighty beautiful right now. Look at you, Oh, work a pose, get it, girl. Just Oogie Boogie. Just. He's here to throw a party. It's a big bag of bugs. I promise, he's here to throw a party. You're dressed nice, you're dressed perfectly for the party. Bye, Daisy. This is the bad boy that we came to Carthay Circle for. If you guys remember last year, we tried this, and we're doing it again for Alicia because she wants the four pack of the poison apple. So this year that they have it, you're able to actually purchase this as long as you purchase a drink. So this is 18 bucks, and then you purchase the apples for another 17. So it comes out to like 34. 34. 34 for show. Hey, they know they know how to tack on those extra things, right? I mean, it's really cute. I know it's super cute, but thirty-four dollars. <laughs> how lit up that is! Time to try the poison apple martini. Let's hope it's not gonna actually kill me. Well, I mean, you remember last year? You took a sip and you're like, Bleh. let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> It's super strong, isn't it? I feel like I have the flu and my mom's giving me diamond cap. But, oh, remember how bad that was as a kid? They gave you the smallest shot, but it felt like it was a waterfall of medicine. It's terrible. We're getting this for the cube and for everything. Yeah. So Alicia... It's the same drink. Alicia, just know that we love you, that we're doing this for you. <laughs> it's Chris's turn. You have your face at it all. <laughs> You know what though? That one is not as bad as the one from last year. Last like, year was like la straight Last up. year was just straight cold medicine. This one has a little bit, a little bit of like fruit to it. Like in the beginning and then, ap and then after that it's like taking a, t a tablespoonful of medicine. Ashley here. Um, I have sipped this much, which is not much. You have made more of a dent. The more you sip it, the better it starts to taste. I don't know about that. <laughs> and I don't know if that's because I never drink alcohol and it's like, I'm in my happy place. Ashley's getting tipsy. I never drink, like I, okay, we say we never drink alcohol and we tried like the diet. Uh, we? Okay, I, you. I hardly ever drink. This one was this a must. Will, this will because, put you on your butt. Just imagine when you stand up. Well. Just for reference, look at the shot of Crown Royale that they put in. <laughs> we were like, can we have a reference? If you don't like the taste of the poison apple martini. Or you don't, you don't drink alcohol. Or you don't drink alcohol, they will serve you non-alcoholic, but it's still the same price. Still gotta pay so you're still gonna pay 34, even if it's you know, non-alcoholic. Imagine going like a soda and like this and you still have to pay 34 bucks. But if you want those cubes. I mean, if you're an adult and you, you drink alcohol, yeah. you might as well just go for it. Just. And then go on a credit card right Just do like, it. oh no. <laughs> just do like the whole diamond tap before your mom plug your nose and just. I give this a one. <laughs> as far as taste, it's not that good unless you like really, really strong drinks. Yeah. But. It's strong. I, mean, I am feeling some type of way. <laughs> like I said though, <laughs> if you're just here to get the the glow cubes, mm -hmm. then just get a non-alcoholic drink. And if you're not like if you're not you trying get to get a drink, Shirley Temple. You get a Shirley Temple, get a Roy Rogers. You can get a coffee. You can get a coffee. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You can get a $17 soda, whatever works, you know? Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and end the video here guys. Wait, 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 hold on, stop the vlog, stop the vlog. Before we go, guys, we wanted to show you guys the light up cubes in the four pack. So this is the black one purple, green, and red. And honestly, this looks absolutely amazing, especially with like the, the purple in the back. Like I really, really like that. And then you hear the Oogie Boogie. Yeah, Oogie Boogie. He, he continuously laughs at us. And I'm, wait, I can't even see you. Wait, hold on. <laughs> but now back to the outro.
So if you enjoyed all the food, all the drinks, all the treats that we showed you here in DCA, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of cool Halloween videos coming up. Make sure to turn those notifications so whenever we upload a video or go live, you get notified. If you haven't checked out our Patreon, make sure to check out our Patreon too. We always love the support that we get on there. Finally, if you're not following us on social media, everything's under It's The Duel with two O's. From DCA here at the Halloween Spooky Time, we'll catch you guys later. Bye! <laughs> what is that? <laughs>